And then my neighbors call a meeting, the estate committee, where we were, because we were in an estate. Eh? I took a commercial mm. bill. Yeah. Mm. So they tell me, it's time for you to leave the estate. And I was like, we've been here for 18 years. Where do you expect us to, to up and go? To me, I took it very negative. Nikasema, these people, kwa ni walikuwa wanangoja ma mama mamangu ende. akufe. Venye mamangu tu wamekufa hivi ndi wani towe. Kama mamangu wangekua, hawange behave hivi. Kwa stumeishi hapa almost 40 years, surely. For you to have wow. um, parent and spouse going through the, the same, same thing. thing, that has really been a blow wow. for me. Exactly. But... Um, See, we were raised strong women and stuff like that. So I take it in stride. I say, maybe right now I cannot see why it's happening, because it's happening right now. No. <laughs> Sasa, I told you, hapa, ndio yeah. ni clients walikuwa wakikuja, tuna, una park, yeah. na mimi nakuja na kiti, because the salon was too full. too full. So mimi nakuja na kiti, yeah. alafu, na kwekea kiti yako hapo, kwa gari yako, kwa gari yako eh. na kuchana hapo, yeah. na kushuka hapo. Kaya. So nikaona no, it won't work. Yeah. It won't work. Yeah. So we have to try and make sure that the clients are comfortable. Mm. Ndiyo nikaanza kuingia kwa madhe. Nikachukua SQ, wakona SQ mbili. Yes. Nikazichukua nothing. nothing. God mm -hmm. wanted you out. Yeah. You know ladies go to the salon when they are not feeling good about themselves. Oh. Eh? I know someone <laughs> gets it. Someone gets it. Usually, yeah. by the time... I've decided I'm coming to the yes. salon. I've looked myself uh, in the mirror. And I'm ma, already ah, doubting yes. how I look. Yes. Good morning, welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global. And I know my people, I have not brought you Inspire Global in a long time. Huh? Lakini today I needed to find something that would definitely encourage you. And I have to give a disclaimer. Our episode today might have a bit of, uh, you know, um, a, a bit of a surprising ending. But I will let you figure that out later in the episode. But I'm coming to you straight from here. This is the beauty cottage. And guys, when you see this, this, this used to be Mabati. So our guest today started her hustle kwa Mabati and it's amazing to see that right now she's the owner of two amazing branches and she has been able to employ more than 50 people. But she said something important. In school she knew she was good with her hands, right? But there was always that pressure for you to be a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer. But then again, I'm so happy she did not give up in her passion and I hope wherever you are watching in this episode from please do not give up on your dream and just do it whatever it is that is in here just do it do not give up so anyways allow me to let her take us through her story and i hope if there's one thing that today's episode can do is definitely inspire you challenge you and make you believe that no matter where you are from as our girl lupita says your dreams are valid so Let's get to listen to Linda and you'll get to understand the whole concept of this place that I just did my piece to camera in. Odi. Let's see Salimiwi in silence. Habari yenu? Muko salama. So my name is Linda, yeah. Linda Maria. I go by two English names. Yes. There's a story behind that. Okay. <laughs> I am a wife, yeah. a mother, yeah. a sister. Yeah. Basically, I'm a woman. Yes. I am an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I run a business, a yeah. hair salon. Yeah. 
can I just tell my audience, yes. I've been a fan yes. of your work, yes. but on social media, yes. and I know how we connected yes. was just very <laughs> weird, sheer totally luck. sheer <laughs> luck. Uh, mm. But can I just start by saying how incredible your work is? Oh, yeah, you. like your work is so incredible. And even before we started <laughs> this show, you told me something important. Women, we have the fear of defining ourselves because if I'm successful, it will come out as I'm being flossy. Yes. And I just struggle with why can't we own it? Well, we, that we need a whole uh, uh, conference yes. for us to be educated on how we can put yourself out there. Because for if uh, someone hears you saying, well, I bought this and I did this and I opened this and yeah. everything and my kids are grown and they're doing well, mm -hmm. it sounds like you're gloating like, now, where were you? Now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it becomes so hard to put those things. To own your to success. To own it. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's, that's what it is. To mm. own your success, mm. I think in Kenya, yeah. is a challenge. It's a, for a woman. For a woman. It's a challenge. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you have to hide your accolades? You have to hide all the things that you've been able to achieve I so people don't think you are floating around? I feel that way. Yeah. I try to talk to myself and remind myself that sh you should put it out there. Yes. But yes, I always, before I tell you something amazing that happened to me, yeah. I will have really thought about it like, mm. do I really have to say this here? Yeah. Yeah. So we try, we try to keep it down. Just, okay, may, maybe for me, I'm trying to not make other people feel bad. Mm. But I guess in me not telling people, yeah. um, of achievements yes. that I have worked hard for, mm. I am limiting what I can give them so that they can see that it can be done. I love that. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I love and I hope it it comes out as a challenge for people because yeah. I, I suffer from that too. I remember when I won this whole BBC yes. thing and we went for a meeting somewhere and someone was like, how are you in BBC top 100 influential women and you are not making noise about it? And I was like, because I think, uh, oh, I very good. So then you understand. I understand. <laughs> and anyways, anyway, my people, I am sorry. <laughs> you, 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 uh, you are an incredible person. That's all I Thank meant you. to say. And you just opened another of your projects that my people will get to be seen. But I know your life is not just about business, success, being a wife, a mother. You have, everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's time now for my audience to understand who is Linda really. Mm -hmm. What was her life like growing up mm -hmm. to becoming this very, without even an apology, yeah. successful entrepreneur. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay, so uh Mini Demo Langata. Uh huh. I wasn't born in Langata, but we came when I was one. So I can say Langata all my life. Yes. Went to school at Consolata, mm -hmm. primary and second secondary. Yeah. So when I was in high school, yeah. I always used to have a business running. Like other people had books in their desks. Mimi nilikuwa na biashara. So because I'm an artist. Yes. Uh, I would make, uh, I'm good at, I think I, sh I will say in the past I was yes. good at drawing uh, and yeah. calligraphy. Mm. So I'd make cards for my, my classmates yes. to give to their, their love, love interests love, yes. in oh. school yes. for a little bit of yeah. uh, money. Cash. So I had my locker for art and it had all those things that I would sell to my, mm. my fellow classmates. Mm -hmm. In my desk I had cakes and cookies. Maneno na kusoma, sikuwa naona nika inaingiana sana. So Mimi just like... Mimi nikuwa inakata hafo? Si Mimi napenda tu kufanya vitu na mkono. I like to do things with my hands. And that's another thing. For me, to put me down and make me read a book that you will ask me questions about after, that is torture. To me, that yes. is torture. Yeah. But that's what in my generation that's what everyone was doing so na maliza ukimaliza unaenda university mimi niliangalia hiyo story ya university nikaona mother and a struggle you know like to raise us to feed yes. us i was like hapa mm, twende tu job yeah tufanye tu kitu yeah. <laughs> yeah so i left console and i just started hustling mm -hmm. yeah wow and 
you know you are raising a very important point right now. I was, I was, <laughs> I was holding myself because I did not want to interrupt. Yeah. You are good with your hands. Yes. But in school, I'm just happy they've oh, introduced this yes. whole CBC yes. thing. But in school, in our times, mm. you are either going to be a doctor, a, doctor, a, lawyer, a lawyer, an engineer, yes. to do it, do yes. what, yes. all those things. Yes. Nobody taught us yeah. our hands, our mouth, yes. our sports. These things are important. It, it, it's really such a challenge mm. that for someone like me, uh, my family actually held an intervention. They came together, the uncles and the a few aunties. You know, our generation men were the ones who were saying, eh? Uh, so my uncles were called and they sat me down and they told me, Toto wetu, unapotea. <laughs> unapotea. Eh, unafau rudi shule, usome kitu ufanye kos, alafu utafute kazi. Wow. So I really had to fight for me to continue doing what I wanted to do. Mm. But I was wise about it. I said, munataka ni rudi shule, wa, wacha tukipata school fees, nitaenda, haina shida. Mm. For now, mm. kenya tunaeza fanya, niendele na vitu zangu kidogo kidogo hivi, mm. pesa ikitosha, nitarudi. Yes. Of course, niliendelea na vitu zangu kidogo kidogo hivi. Yeah. Pesa ilikuja, but... Ulishikusha <laughs> enda. You go. are, you had go. There was no for going back. Yeah. Nikitoka shule, yeah. nika meet... Uh, hii kitu inasemu wangu aji. No, jua mini shy girl. I met this guy. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. And... I don't know. It was just, it was, it, he was my friend and mm. my everything. Like, we just connected. And in that connection, there came a baby. <laughs> oh. Hey, so, yeah. at 19, yes. I had my first born. Oh, metu pereka. Wacha turudi nyuma kidoko. So, you <laughs> met a guy and the connection. Hapa <laughs> tunanga raka. Do you see what you are doing with us right now? <laughs> Nina so Luka. You, you met a guy. I met a guy. Yes. Yeah. Were you in love? I believe I was in love. Mm. But in Sasa Miyaka Zimenyonyesha, Sasa yeah. Najuli Zanga, hmm, ile siko shua, but his emotions, they were there. Th okay. Yeah. yeah. And I actually thought that we would be together huh. forever. When you were, you were 18? I met this guy in high school, but yes. now we started dating after, after school. school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Before I knew it, mm. there was a baby. When I was having that child, you know, it's not easy to come home and say, I'm going to have a baby at 19. Ata nilikuwa naomba, hui mtoto angetoka nikiwa 20. At least niseme, sikuwa teenager. I was 20. I was 20. But sasa ilifanyika hivo. Mm. And uh, I had my first born at 19. When I found out I was pregnant, it was really hard for the family. Like, my mom was just like, why? Like, she has struggled so had yeah she has struggled so much to get us to where we are we haven't even gone anywhere and here i am pregnant you know so mm. she really struggled with it um my baby daddy had better dreams i'm, I'm from the time when we call namaliza shule unaenda ngambo mm. us mm. see what it will to us yes. to the states yeah so yeah, alikuwa nataka kwenda states. Yeah, it was really a trying time to mm. bring these people together and tell them you know what Imefanyika, imefanyika, na huyu mtoto sasa mm. atakuwa part of our lives. It wasn't easy. But, watu wanasemanga tu, oh my God, umeme, oh my God, oh my God. I know, uh, when I knew that uh, everything was going to be fine, there's a day I was walking down the steps, we were having a function, uh, family function, mm. and so everyone was there, mm. and I was seven months pregnant, and mm. I was walking down the steps, and I missed a step at my auntie's house, and I slid down the stairs mm. all my aunties those people who are telling me oh my god oh my god what have you done they came running they were scared for they you. were so scared yes. i said so you have been acting like you're upset and here you and are and here you are running caring caring oh my they were afraid that something could have happened to the baby yeah so when 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 you're a teenager and you're pregnant mm. you live in your own world where you think that everything that you will amount to will be nothing, you know, because that's how we were raised. So I had to pick myself up from, okay, sour. So now here I am with a baby and life has to go on. So I went and did a very short course.
So I went. So you were heavily pregnant. No, I finished. Yes. And gave birth. Mm. Then you went to the course. Then now, see, I tried to sell my mtumba clothes, getting those people it's hard. I tried to do those things I was doing. It's mm. not working. Nothing was working. Mm. So I realized that as a last man, changed tact. Mm -hmm. So Mungu huwa anapanga tu vitu zake. One of the jobs that I got, because um, sasa ni anza ku tamak, unatafuta kazi. Yeah. Yeah, and as we used to walk door to door asking for, baby? for work. The baby nilikuwa ni meandika mtu, okay. a small um, young girl to take mm. care of the child. Mm. So I could go out and look for yeah. for money. Yeah. So ni meanza ku tamak and I got a job. Ata hizu sasa siji kama naeza ziita a job. Mm. Because that I cook one a pesa phone and but I got a, a job mm. in a company that was selling cosmetics, and this company brought in people from South Africa to train us. Wow! So that was my initial training. Unaona vinye mungu na panga vitu zake. Yeah. He doesn't leave you to wallow in your misery. Before you know it, ana jaribu kukufungulia mlango. Shida ni who had to only use mlango kama nikitu, like, should I go through this door? We really resist to go through the doors that mm -hmm. God opens. Mm -hmm. So I'm t I always try to listen. Is this the one that God is opening? Yes. And so far, so good. Yes. So I went to that place, and I was going there earning nothing, but they brought people to train us in skin care mm -hmm. and makeup. Oh. So hapo ndio nikajua kufanya makeup, ikafungua iyo kitu, nikasema, mm -hmm. now I want to know more about what is this. Because one, I'm talented and I just knew how to do these things. Mm. But I wanted also to back it up with some form of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I went to Izo Shule Ziko Apo Tao. Yeah. It was called personal care. In yes. when, when I was doing it, it was one of the best schools mm. to do that kind of course in. Mm -hmm. The actual name of the course is cosmetologist. Yes. Like I am a cosmetologist. Yeah. Even to go to personal care, my mom couldn't afford the course. Because I think it was like... 70,000 for the full course mm -hmm. and my mom couldn't afford to raise 70,000 bob. So what we did, uh, I did the practical course. So where they just show you everything. But this school, you know Mungu, this school, they didn't have a special class for the practicals. So I was put in the same class mm -hmm. as the people doing theory mm -hmm. at the back. And now, <laughs> and now me, I'm, I'm already talented. Yani hizi ni vitu nataka tu kujua. So, niko kwa class na maskio na mikono ziko hapa zinafanya practical. And by the time I finished that course, there was nothing I didn't know yeah. <laughs> about um, the, the, the things that mm. I thought I wanted to do mm. um, with myself. Mm -hmm. So I went out into the world. Yes. Um, Nikaanza ku hawk my services. Yes. Ninasimama kwa stage, ukishuka, clients wangu wako wengi wenye nilikuwa na watengeneza kwa stage ya rongai, nilikuwa naishi rongai that time. Uh, Nasimama kwa stage, nikiona mstana na fanana na lini hivi ya Nanyu, naka. Nanyuele iko hivi. Hata vado sikuwa na make nyo. Yes. Nikuwa na mtufanya tu One, two, kucha. kucha. Kucha, beauty. Yes. So facials, manicure, pedicure, yeah. makeup. Yeah. So nikiona mstana anafanana na wewe hivi nasema hii ni pesa hawezi kataa kunipatia 250 ya manicure. <laughs> so na ku approach and thank God I'm eloquent and I'm my guest confident. Yes. So people would not run away. You mm. can imagine just someone you don't know coming to talk to you yeah. to ask you do you want a pedicure? Yes. What do you mean? Where will we do the pedicure? I'll come to your house. You you don't know me. Me I want to come to your house. So but I got a few clients there um Ikanianzishia yu biashara. So one of those clients I can recommend kwa salon. Wow. Malie isa alikuwa naenda kutengeneza nyuele ni kandi kwa kazi. But hizo bado nazi ita kazi. No. <laughs> Siju ni wapi nitaanza kuita kazi. <laughs> uh, uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> you know because you're earning yes, nothing. nothing. You're earning nothing. Iyo pesa unai budget. Inakata. Kwanza na mimi ni, ni wale wa kuandika. Pesa unai budget ni andike. Ni rab ni andike tena. Ni rab ni andike tena. Ah, that it wasn't any money. You can't live on that yeah. amount of money that yeah. I was earning at that time. Yeah. But God is good. Uh, I got a, a small job in a salon somewhere. Mm. Mm. I stayed there for some time. 
when I was there, Nikanza kuenda on one weekend, because these services were not being, there were no beauticians in Mombasa. Yeah, yeah. Nika decide nitakuwa naenda Mombasa one weekend. Mombasa. Like, nitatoka Friday, nirudi Monday morning. Sasa Friday night, nafanya kazi mbaka night, nachukua the night bus, naenda Mombasa, nitafika Saturday morning. Saturday morning nifanya clients, nitafute wateja wa kutengeneza. Saturday morning and Sunday, then Uingi. Sunday night, Uingi. ni ingie kwa basi, ni kirudi, ni fike manda subuhi ni ende kazi. So Mombasa ulikuwa nendo na wasimamisho, unawambia na tengeneza kucha? Nilikuwa na simama pale Twins Penny. <laughs> <laughs> na bagi yangu kadogo kakona, hizo cuticle, nini nini. But then, now some people started noticing me. So wakanza kuniambia, si ukuji ufanye kwa salon yangu, mm. ukuji ufanye kwa salon yangu. Mm. So what I would do is panga the work. So that weekend... I would go okay. and I'd already have clients. clients. So nikifika by 7 a.m. nikona mm. my first client. Mm. Na oga tuwa raka raka na piga right. msuaki. Uh, out. I go and I try and mm. connect this. Mm. You know. And yeah. if I was lucky, wate wakiwa in one area. Tuseme kama ni nyali. Yes. Sae nakuwa ni easy. Because unajua sina gari na, yeah. na move. Na hakuna boda boda hizo yeah. time. Hakuna uba. Hakuna yeah. vitu. Yeah. So. I'd go and I'd try to make a few people. You think it was a lot of money mm -hmm. I was I was saving. I, I was getting from that. I was maybe making a profit of 3,000 or 3,500 from that Mombasa trip. But to me, it was m adding more on top of this money that I was trying to budget in here. Yeah? I, mm, budget, I, budget, I okay. budgeted. Mm. So from that money that I was earning in Mombasa, Sasa nilikuwa, hiyo ndiyo nilikuwa nasema, hiyo ndiyo fair, hiyo ndiyo lunch, hiyo ndiyo everything. Mshara yangu ikikuja, nijaribu, hii mshara ni yeke kwa account, ni save, ni si itumie for a rainy day. I didn't know which rainy day it was, but I just knew. There was going na to be a rainy save. day. Eh, yeah. Madhea likuwa amesha nini, tufundisha hizo vitu, you put money aside. So I had a Barclays account. So I went, um... I went uh, to my back list, nini, nikaanza kuweka hiyo pesa yenye. Any extra money I had, nikaweka hapo. Mm. I think about two years from when I started working in this salon in town, kitu nikapata ile moment of, I can't do this anymore. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> to me about that. <laughs> Siwezi. Siwezi na sitaki na sitafanya. So, nikaambia my boss, I want to leave work. Kaniza nini ni? Ni pesa to change your commissions because you know salons people pay mm. on commission. Mm. Eh? She even offered me a higher commission than my colleagues who are in the salon. I felt it wouldn't have been fair. Maybe I was young. Sa hii ninge chukua higher commission. Higher, <laughs> eh, eh. higher commission. Yeah. Nye mujipange. But that time I was like no it's not fair that we're all working in this one place and um, I am earning more than them. But yes. my heart was not settled there. I knew I wanted to go. So what I wanted to do was to open a small space that I could work on my own clients. Yeah. So client akilipa 300, 300 ni yangu sio. Bado ni nagawa na, na commission. commission na mm. eh. So kwetu, my mom si tunaishi langata, yeah. akona front yard. Yes. Nikamambia mom, tafadhali, he had in a to cost money every month because to go na maua na nyasi lazima to eat a gardener yeah. ama mtutu akuja uh, mm. tengeneze so i was like mom we're spending money on this thing mm. and what we should be doing is making some money from it mm. if you allow me to put a door in that wall i can put mabati on this side and it will become a room and in that room i can make some money to take care of me and my baby. Sayo nilikuwa nimerudi home. Mm. Ile relationship haiku, haiku work. work. So nikatoka rongai nikarudi home. Mm. Nilirudi home na three shillings. <laughs> Niki, nikitoka rongai. Shilingi tatu. Shilingi tatu ndiyo nilifika nazo kwa madhe. Unajua sasa ile relationship haiku ina, ina mm. work. Mm. I told my mom, I think if I stay in this marriage, I will die. So she was like, don't die my child, you're young. There is a lot ahead of you. Fanya hivi. Let him toto. Alafu ujipange venye. Can I just say thank you to your mom? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I know this is not the yes. Ngugi show to inspire global, <laughs> but 
<laughs> the stories of people yeah. I've covered yeah. where they wish they would have gone back home, but yeah. they were scared of going home. Yeah. To be able to have parents who will tell you, yes. come back home. Yes. It's okay. Yes. To have a failed marriage yes. and be able to call your mom and now, say, come I can't, back yes. home. Yes. Your mom is amazing amazing no, actually i didn't tell her na rudy home mm. she's the one who said Come. ukishindwa Uja. wewe rudy kwani nilikufukuza you know mother alinipatia mpaka sufuria zake nikitoka mm. and i was young you can imagine i think now that i have big children mm. i'm like i think she was going through so much but putting a brave face, face um to let me go and try to start my life and set you free let me go sasa si nimeletiwa go nikaona hey hi work yeah i kui ha unajua kwa hiyo nyumba nikiishi rongai una you could find niko na sasa niko na stove haina mafuta so siezi pika niko na majani sina sukari so siezi hata tengeneza it was hard. sasa nina ninakaa kwa nyumba na 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 naweka majani kwa maji na hiyo ndio nasema ni dinner like chai chai haina it's not hot neither does it have sugar it's just water and tea leaves you know cuz now inafika mahali ile budget si aingiani sasa kama hauna utafanya nini na mimi si mwizi siezi chukua ya mwingine so that's where i reached in rungai like when i was trying to stay in that first marriage mm. i was like ai si lazima ah sioni kiwa nitakufa kwa hiyo nyumba mm. die not not from probably from something like depression oh hunger ata si, uh, na nilikuwa nimekonda unajua i'm a small person but nilikuwa nimekonda niko na hizi um, eh zimetoka nje na shimo hapa imeingia ndani ukiniona unafikiri huyu ni mgonjwa upepo inaweza nipeleka mm. eh anyway, so my mom said come back home so nilifika kwake na shilingi tatu, tatu. so nikaanza madhe nipatie fare <laughs> niende town Taiwan. you know yeah but she did it she did it she's she's an amazing hata yeye hana no, no, lakini i just remember the number of times i kept telling my mama <laughs> nipatie fare <laughs> nipatie fare <laughs> yeah so hapo ndio nilikuwa madhe nipatie fare so ndio hizo sasa akinipatia naenda na tamak na tembea nilikuwa natembea mpaka kiatu inapiga 45 degree cuz <laughs> umeikanyaga mpaka so lilishaisha mpaka sasa unatembea na the leather part of the shoe but i have that one shoe so sita it, it's the one you have to wear <laughs> you can't there's no other yeah. so now uh, i told mom we can't be in nini spending money on this garden mm. let me put a cardo so my mom she asked me you can see a space i said yes i see the space <laughs> why are you imitating me akima hiyo ndio madhali kwa naongea because sasa unajua haioni hiki kitu yenye mimi inamwambia <laughs> but mimi mm. naiona mm -hmm. hmm? mm -hmm. and uwe mwanamke god bless may she rest in peace madhali alipass but oh. That lady alini support unajua kitu nasema hata hai make sense at all lakini that lady nikimwambia I want to stand on top of the car and dance I think it will be good for me she will say will it make you feel okay I say yes that's what I want she will say okay stand and dance so my mom ali support Dream. all my madness because it was madness everything that I brought to her I think ilikuwa ngani madness. So nikamwambia mimi nipatie hii space. Akanipatia hiyo space. Nikaenda Barclays. Nilikuwa nime save my life savings. Eh? Guess how much my life savings was? How much? <laughs> 34,000 Kenyan shillings. Hii 34,000 nataka ijenge, inainunue equipment na nifungue uh, place for yeah, nails. Yeah. yeah? nilikuwa na hiyo dream ya kutengeneza tu watu mm. kucha sio i didn't even think of her mm. and i think a part of me i've succeeded because my i usually my dreams are usually just here like the next point not 
huko mbali. Yes. So nilikuwa naona tu nikiweza kutengeneza at least watu kucha hapa. Uh, I'm good. I'm good, you know. I can make something out of it. 34,000 tukaweka mabati structure. Hiyo mm. mabati structure iliisha. 34,000 shillings. <laughs> Your entire my entire life savings na haikunifikisha mwisho ya hiyo. Na nimesha quit my yes, job. Job. My non paying mm. job. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Mungu ni nani? Akaanza kunitumia tu small small things like harusi. Eh, yeah, niende nitengeneze bride. Wow. Yaani hii dunia people just I just have always met people who have believed in me even if I have nothing to show for you to be able to be convinced that you should believe in me. So I just mtu ananasema tu I have a wedding and uh, maybe you can come and do our makeup. Sina hata picha moja ya makeup lakini anaona tu mimi naweza fanya hiyo kitu na have to borrow makeup kit kwa, kwa mtu ndio niende kutengeneza this person alafu ananilipa hata sijui ku charge namwambia you just give me what you can my first makeup job huo oh, mstana alinipatia 2500 hata niyo juuliza nilikuwa na try what because 2500 you've yes. used quite a bit, bit of it on fair and makeup kit ni lazima pia nipatie yule mtu Kakito. something but hizi ndio vitu zilikuja one or two or three zikafuatana hivi nika paka rangi nikamaliza mabati nika paka rangi nikaweka meza na viti mbili ndani nikaanza job wow yeah sasa tukaita the beauty cottage, cottage. madhen ndio alikama up na hiyo hiyo oh, jina because it was a, a small house nikaka cottage a cottage you know a small mm. there is a bigger one and then a ka small one so Beauty cottage. cottage. So now guys, we are here where this is where it all started. This is where it all started. <laughs> so this is the beauty cottage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, and it's, you still had it in you. So this is mom's house. Oh, this is mom's house. Yeah. yeah. yeah this is where mom was. Yeah. This small space here. Now we don't have access really. Yes. But this small space here is where I was asking her. Yeah. Nipatie hii garden niweke mabati huku na huku. Hiyo yeah. mlango ndogo nilimuitisha oh, ni hiyo. Hapo ndio ilikuwa ukuta yake yeah. nikaweka mlango ndio yeah. uweze kuingia yes. ndani. So this is like now this is it. So after so some years nika decide ni try nisieke permanent. Yeah. So this is it's a prefabricated house still. Okay, yes. It's prefab. Yes. But we did the mazeras. Yes. So siku ile nataka kuitoa. Eh. Hakuna kitu serious. Eh yeah, inaweza tu. Wewe uliweka kakape? Tuliweka kakape. Tunajua tulikuwa tuna try. Sasa I told you hapa ndio yeah. ni two clients walikuwa wakikuja tuna una pack yeah. na mimi nakuja na kiti cuz the salon was too full. too full. So mimi nakuja na kiti. Yeah. Alafu na kuwekea kiti yako hapo kwa gari yako, kwa gari yako eh. na kuchana hapo yeah. na kushuka hapo Kaya. so nikaona no it won't work yeah. it won't work yeah. so we have to try and make sure that the clients are comfortable mm. ndio nikaanza kuingia kwa madhe nikachukua SQ ako na SQ mbili yes. nikazichukua nothing, nothing. god mm. wanted you out yeah. <laughs> this, this place kind of shows you that no matter where you are from your yes. dreams are valid hata siku ile niliweka hii sign tulikuwa tume <laughs> Now, it was a thing. Was there, a there was almost a grand opening for the oh. signage. <laughs> Because you see this was my mabati. Yeah. Na hapa nilikuwa nimechora. Ka, you, have you ever seen those salons that draw by hand yes. at women? Yes. There was an artist who came and drew. It was not a very good thing, but uh, it served me so well for so many years. Sikwizi najua branding ni nini so tuna so, brand. Tuna brand. <laughs> yeah. Ah, my people. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't those in a dreams are valid. Eh? <laughs> dreams are valid. Eh? Yeah. Yes. So that's how we came up with that. Nikaanza hiyo beauty cottage. So nimetoka town mm. mahali nilikuwa na an about 6 7000, you know? Niki struggle yeah. sana. Mm. Hii beauty cottage nikifungua hiyo mwezi ya kwanza niliget 7000 shillings in total. Yaani all the money that I earned yes. from the clients who believed mm. in me mm. you know 
Niliget 7000. Hujawahi ona mtu mwenye na walk on clouds. Sikuwa nashikika. Nilipigia kila mtu simu. Rich anti voice. Ay, 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 ay. I was the person. Eh? I've made it. Mama, I've made it. Mm, hey, 7000 mm. shillings. Nani yako? But you know what I was happy about? Mm. What was making me call everyone to tell them, to give them, you know, to can you believe it? It's because I left something where I was earning this amount of money and I started my own thing and I earned that amount of money. I can't fail. Siezi rudi nyuma. It can't be worse. Unaona? Na hii sasa ni ya? Ni yangu. Nakumbuka sikuwa nataka kushare commission. Yes. Nilikuwa naona why am I sharing commission. Yes. And I can do it. I can do it myself. I'm the one who markets. I look for the products. I do everything. My boss did that where I was working didn't know anything to do with salon. Yes. Haku ange nisaidia na anything. Mm. Alafu mwisho ya mwezi tunagawa. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. nilikuwa naona mm. tu I but sasa job ni yako. Ni yangu. I was untouchable. Yes. I was untouchable. Ivo tu ndio nikaanza, nikaanza pole pole. Uh, then that time kulikuwa na hizi uh, beauty pageants. Yeah. Miss Kenya, Miss Watt, Miss Watt. Zilikuwa zimeanza kukua very, mm. um, you know, like popular. They were, popular. Mm -hmm. there were so many of those beauty pageants. Mm. Sawa wakiweka hizi vitu kwa TV na angalia na shangawa, wasichana wanaka aje. Sasa nimeanza kujiona na weza fanya hizi to make up, yeah. you know. Nimeanza ku, like people have shown me that I can. Kwa yes. zata mimi nikikuja ni kutengeneze hivi hivi na ona. Oh, ah, good. Ah, she, looks, mm. she looks normal, mm -hmm. she looks nice. Yeah. So nimeanza ku get confidence. Yes. So those beauty pageants, na zi watch na shanga, these people, kwani ya wananga mtu wa kutengeneza makeup. And that started another dream. Nikasema, nitatafuta njia nifike uko, nitengeneze awatu. Ah, 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 huh? So I started trying to get into media. Not knowing even what I was getting into. Um, I went to so many places, unapatiana CV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, you know, you try yes. and get these people yeah. to, but nothing was coming mm, forth mm. until one lucky day, uh, there was a guy who was looking for a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. this, that, this is before the age of uh, online. Yes. So there was a guy who was looking for a makeup artist. He happened to be in a cyber cafe where a cousin of mine was working. Mm. Aka happened to mention, hey, to a job na makeup artist wetu, ame quit. Sasa, Atujui tutafanya aje na lazima by kesho 4am tutukue na makeup artist on set. Kazi nangu wakasema, my kazi ni za makeup artist. Bless such kazi. <laughs> ah, yes. Akasema, my kazi ni za makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Haka mpatia namba yangu. So my kazi na kanikola raka raka. Kuna mtu wana kukol, ana kukol juya makeup wem show unaeza. Yeah. So by the time the phone call was coming, um, mi ni kambia tuwa mse, eh, hey, naweza. Sina hata brush moja. Hata lipstick moja sina. <laughs> Yanya naeza enda nayo advert. Hauna. Sina. Nikarudi wapi to school. Mm. The school where I was studying in the Iko back of kando. the class. Eh. The lady there, the owner of the school, oh. Irene Joroge, mm. she just really, I don't know, liked me. Or I don't know, it was God before me. Sijui. Alipatia full makeup box. Haka nipangia kitu, kila kitu. Light skin, dark skin, nini, brushes, lipsticks, everything, everything. Haka nyekea mbaka gown. Nikaenda, nika shoot. Hiyo job, nilikuwa nafaa nipatiwe an amount of money. I was so excited. This money would have saved me from so many things. Do you know? Uwe mse haku nilipa. Yule mse ali kuwa kwa saiba kitafuta makeup. He never paid me. But do you know what that job did? It opened doors. Because now I could say, Unkiulizwa, umefanya kazi gani? Nasema, nilifanya hii, inakuanga kwa TV, it ran for two years on TV. So it was easy for me to say, yeah, I've worked with this company and this, 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 this. Pole pole ni kaanza kupata, tukazi tudogo, tudogo za kufanya makeup here and there. Kitu ikaniambia, I want to go and do, I want to be a makeup artist in a TV station because I felt like the people who are doing news just didn't look. Glammed, kidogo, like colors. So nikasema nataka kuenda TV station, nifanya kazi huko. Sijui mtu. So nika Google NTV Nation. That time it was Nation. Nika Google, nika tafuta majina za wadosi wa production department. 
uh, nika decide naenda kuona mmoja so nikaingia nation nation ukiingia you enter the first place yes. and then you go up and then you enter now the reception is mm. i don't know if it's mm. still there it was mm. on second floor mm. now on second floor is where you say where you want to yes. go and then now you're given a pass to mm. enter the company nikafika hapo nikasema nataka kwenda kuona so and so do you have an appointment because no 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 i don't have an appointment mm -mm. you cannot go without appointment an appointment only. do you know linda ni nani every day I used to go to nation and ask for a different person. Saka jana nilitafuta huyu. <laughs> Kesho mm. natafuta huyu. Eh. Nilienda nation for three months. Every morning nikiendanga. But of course sometimes nilikuwa na no. slow down. Maybe mm. I go three times. Mm. So one day one of the receptionists bless her. These people God puts in your path. One of those receptionists akaniambia unakujanga kila siku tukusaidiaje you know like what is it that you Nini you asua. want eh kambia mimi this is what i want and i was just thinking if i have a chance to sell myself to the manager you know like to tell the manager what i can do maybe he can give me an opportunity yes. do you know that lady gave me a gate pass oh and God. she organized the meeting up there oh. <laughs> See ati nilikuwa najua mtu destiny helpers she just gave me the gate pass mm. Mm? nikaenda nikaongelesha manager of course hakunanga kazi ukienda mahali no mm. no no, no. Mm. but after some time they needed a, a makeup make artist, artist. Yeah? jina yangu ika kama mtiwa nikaitwa job sasa ilikuwa ya show ya wingu la moto mm. ndio ah, yaikuwa you remember wingu yes, la moto yes, yes. yeah so that show didn't the makeup artist had um, left the show mm. and they had two weeks left of shooting so wakaniambia please budget yetu imeshaisha cause tumeshalipa everything yes. that we are supposed to do mm -hmm. but if you come in for this um, two weeks yeah. we have a little money we can pay you for the two weeks mm. and um, next season when we have uh, when the season starts we'll offer you a contract yeah so that you can now be on the show yes mimi kwani nilikuwa na kitu kingine yenye inanishika sana nikaenda they were giving me 6k for that two weeks because yes. they didn't have the a budget. budget mimi na kuanga broke woman <laughs> so 6k that was good money <laughs> <laughs> that was good money i can do something mm. with it mm. you know so nikaenda nikafanya hiyo job ya two weeks contract kaisha yeah uh then we uh, they broke for some time walikuwa wanafanya i think 21 days and mm. then they break and then they do another 21 like mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. so they b took their break yeah true to their word ah oh, watu wanajijua these people who were always in my path yes someone called me when aliniambia i will give you a contract for the next season she called she said oh okay uh so the next season is starting but these guys they've slashed our budget so we don't have the um, the same budget that mm. we had for the other seasons mm. so but um, please come let's have a, a discussion so nikaenda akanipatia contract akaniambia mm. we are so sorry um, that the money won't be you know like what it was but um, what uh, would you have wanted to be paid what would you like mm -hmm. to get mm -hmm. mungu ni nani mimi nilikuwa na calculate nikilipwa say so i was given 6000 yes. so full month ingekuwa 12000 niongeze kadhao yes. so nilikuwa nataka kuitisha yes. 13000 yeah. that is more than enough you know more than enough mm. so that's my dream yes. ude mana niongelesha mimi na calculate nasema 13000 eh. will be okay mm. lakini mungu akasema funga uh -huh. mdomo nikasema ah, if they slashed the budget Let me just hear what, what you, have. you guys have to offer. Um nione kama nitaweza. The girl tells me budget ya makeup ni 50k. <laughs> Siku soma hiyo contract. Siku soma. Yeah, we signing. If I was sending my life away. If How I was signing How my life you? away. I didn't read it. I just turned to the final page. I was shaking like a leaf because I was thinking She's joking and she can <laughs> take it back. <laughs> she can change her mind. <laughs> like anytime. Nili sign your contract na hivyo ndio nilikaa nations due for how many years? Wow. <laughs> yeah? 
until uh, I think walichoka na mimi. The, <laughs> the events that happened were yeah. God again mm. opening a door. Because sasa nilikuwa nimeka more yes. than I need to stay. Yes. Yes. But me, I'm not someone who is good at change. Mm. So I want, I didn't want, I wasn't going to move. You I am just, very you loyal. Okay. You were okay. Yeah. So ningeendelea tu kuka hapo. But um, is, is this the part where we say God <laughs> akitaka kuku move to another level. Ndiyo, yes. Yeah, mwenyewe atafunga yu mlango. So mlango ilifungwa. They, they actually, they, they said they were holding uh, fresh interviews. For people, I've been there for years. I think I was there for like four or five years. I don't, it was a long time. They decided to hold fresh interviews. So I was like, how are they holding fresh interviews? An interview is supposed to be to get to know the person yes. that you're trying to. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So I didn't understand. What are they holding fresh interviews for? For, for what? Turns out, it was just to let me go. I had stayed long enough. You had overstayed. I had overstayed. Yes. And mungu alikuwa nataka kunitoa hapo. Lakini labda menionyesha sign, 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 sioni. Yes. So I left Nation <laughs> and it opened up other doors. doors now you. I went into uh, advertising. You know, now it's quite many finger because it's a nine to five. It's like a nine to five. It's you wake up, you go there, yes. you finish, you go home. Mm. So now it's opened up those ones of you can work once a week. Like you do one shoot day or two mm. shoot days mm. and then you're free for three, four days. Yes. So it opened up such such jobs for mm. me. So I started doing adverts mm. and other things. So now I have experience. Yes. And I say, Mama, make a party. I am a make a party. Yes, <laughs> legit, legit, legit. legit. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so it opened up doors. I can deliver. I can adverts for mm. the longest time. I love me, me. I believe. Don't ever say no. If you ask me if I can show an outfit for you, I don't know how to show mm. but I will say yes. And then I will go find out how to show mm. that thing that you, you know. Is it Steve Jobs? If you're given, if you're ever given an opportunity. Yes. Just say yes. Just say yes. Then learn. And then I learn. Out Even if I have to hire someone else to, do to it. come in, do, do it. it for me. You earn your So sasa watu wakanza kuna, I'm just yeah. creative. What yes. people in the industry started seeing. Mm. Nikanza kufanya, sasa nafanya um, makeup, then nafanya hair, then nafanya wardrobe. Nikaanza kupanga panga set. Nikaitwa set design. Nikaanza ku... Now, by the time I was leaving <laughs> the film industry, <laughs> nimetoka as art director. Oh, yeah? way. So nilikuwa hapo. The, I think my last major thing in film was um, XYZ. Yes. I was on the XYZ show as yeah. the art director. Yeah. So even though that one, they called, they said, there's a show that's never been done before, but we believe you can do it. And we want you to do the hair and you know just make these puppets look okay you know Linda. and i said yes i can do it and i did not know what to do but until today whatever we set in place is what they are still doing. doing until now yes so i finished with the xyz show uh, I was feeling like production on a journey is very serious. Nani nafanya production na ile mabati yangu bado iko. Iko. Sasa nime hire cuz it's naendanga production. Yes. So nime hire one person uh, akae hapo nikaona sasa akienda off. Nika hire two people wakae hapo. Uh, so there were two ladies pole pole tukaongeza three ladies. Wow. You know? So now I start having employees mm. without me knowing mm. that I have employees. Mm. So those jobs were running side by side. Yeah. Did I know which one was the side hustle? Is it my tumabati or is or it the production? production? See, you gani ni side hustle? Yeah. Because unajua my mabati is constant. It's always there. It will always be there for me. My 500, my client will pay, will always be my 500, mm, the client will pay. He said, I didn't get to decide to get to the job. Yes. And then, hmm, you're left there, jobless. So, you pay your production, because you pay your salon, you pay your salon, you save, you save, you save. Nanza ku fanya you know like now we we stopped doing just nails we yes. started doing hair yeah. also in the salons I hired people who could do hair but looking at it now I don't think those people could do hair. Because say it unafanya nyuele tu atengene zanyuele so when I compare I'm like eh, now clients some of them are still with us until today God bless them mm. because that a kama ninge mweka combo 
alikuwa anasema ai ni combo lakini next time nikikuja na narudi yeah. you know she keeps coming back yeah the salon started to flourish yes. then i started to reduce production, production until one day now i said okay you know what time to stop i have to stop production i have to concentrate, concentrate. on one thing mm. sasa nikaenda kufanya kazi salon full time um salon ni place poa you know it's a good business yeah. if you know what you're doing yeah but I felt like other salons were doing Much way right. better than what I was doing. Nabado niko kwa mabati yangu na nataka kujicompare na watu wa Runda. I'm comparing myself with other people. Yeah. I want to make what they are making as much as they are making but really I'm not putting in the effort. I'm putting in the effort but it's not translating into the sales. Mm. So when did I start making money in the salon. salon? When I decided that I am not going to compete with other people. Ati wale wanafanyanga wash and set pia sisi tufanye wash and set. Niliachana na hizo vitu. I started trying to create my own thing, niche. my own niche. So the first thing to reduce okay when the natural hair uh, you know everyone including you yeah. We started to embrace our, our natural, natural hair. hairs before we never used to. Ilikuwa ukifika no. tu an appropriate age unaweka chemi- chemical. chemical. Tulikuwa tunaweka kwa flat iron niliko niliishi nako eh. unaweka unajua kan ka 3 months <laughs> kanywele ni chemical eh. unaen man we hated our Yes, hair. we did not appreciate our own natural hairs. Yes. So when that natural hair revolution it happened worldwide yes. it didn't just happen here in, in kenya. kenya but when it started happening i was one of the first people to say it's okay the way your hair is that's how we are going to work with it so we reduced heat we stopped um, it's your choice though but if a client say it's taki muweke chemical we would not mm-hmm. whereas unapata musi relax yeah musi relax nyole yangu unapata salon other salons maybe wanawambia nyole yako ni ngumu lazima uweke shukika bila yeah. ama hatuwezi shuka hii bila kuweka blow dry mimi kwanza unajua yeah. mimi nachukia blow dry <laughs> <laughs> so but yes. you see what was the problem it's not the blow dry that's the problem it's the way the blow dry is being mm. done mm. That is the problem. Mm. So but w- too much e- educating people yeah. we are still trying to push and educate people mm. on how to treat to our, do African, our hair. African hairs, yeah. So I started doing the natural hairs. So the, nat- the all the clients who were being told we can't work on your hair um, your hair is too hard, it's too thick to kanza kwa chukua tuna we accept you as you come. So that uh, the clientele started growing. Yes. Uh, I also started doing my research what is this natural hair? Oh. What oils are supposed to be used? What products can we put? Which things are damaging the hair? Nini nini. So tukaendelea hivyo mpaka sasa tukaanza ku create our own uh, styles. Um nikawacha kufanya hizo relaxer. We still do. We have yeah. uh, stylists who do the relaxer it's the because client's choice. it's your it's your choice yes. like I won't for you it's yeah. it's even for me it was a journey i yeah. relaxed my hair even uh, as i was doing natural hair for, for the cl- i was still yeah. relaxing, relaxing my hair relax <laughs> nasikia kawaru kengine kananiambia sasa umedu then to grow it out is another three years yes. and then after some time na relax yes. but now it's i am now i am completely natural yes. so because i also went through the journey mm. i don't force if you if you want to keep your hair relaxed it's fine yes so we do those but we started you know like concentrating more on this side of natural the natural hair, hair. Mm. wow mm. and god i bless our hair because <laughs> it's been a journey as you said yes to be able to even stand in front of the camera yes. with my own hair yes you know kitambo ask my mom is a witness mm-hmm. i you know you don't feel pretty unless you have, have that flat s- yes, iron straight that hair yes i live in kapale i said for what for <laughs> what <laughs> so that was like super brave of you yes so things started working out yes mm-hmm. And the interesting things I told you I started creating yes. my own style. Yeah. So it takes a while for me to come up with uh, a, style. a style. It's not just that he, we wake up and we have something. Mm. I have to invest on the breeds or whatever it, the hair that I want to use. Um, try 
different things, pull it, stretch it, bend it, different, different things do on, on that hair. Mm -hmm. And finally, one day, maybe I'll find something, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that can work. Yeah. So I think one of the things that really made a, an impact was uh, Spring Twist. Mm. When Spring Twist came out, there's a style we call yes, Spring Twist. Iyo kitu nilikuwa na jaribu, watu wa mesha lala mimi niko kwa nyumba yangu siku, nilikuwa nafunga ka wire, and then now I, I try and plate on that, you know, because I wanted to create crochet braids. In fact, uh, for a while I was doing makeup for Darling, and I tried to talk to them and uh, ask them if they could uh, collaborate with me and we come up with styles for the actual Kenyan woman. woman. Cause we are the ones on the ground and mm. we ha I know what we were yes. experiencing in our challenges. Yes. So crochet braiding Ikitoka in 20, our first crochet braiding we did in 2011. Yeah. So crochet. crochet. And even when we did that crochet braiding in 2011, no client alienda home, mm. na buwana kia Rudy, Kwa sababu nyele ya hii kwa inaka ime maliziwa. Ya, yeah, ni ilikuwa inaka ni kama ni half done. Yes. So it took us so long to even um, just convince people that you can do this kind of thing. Kampuni ya itengenezi nyele. Ndiyo ni kanza kuimport hair from outside. Ni lete kwa zin Kenya. Sasa si party. Unaona mungu ya nafunga tu. Ya nafunga yu mlango because ana, anataka ufungwe ile ingine. ingine. Yeah. So uh, I was telling you about... Um, we started um we we started doing the spring mm. twist mm. and the day i did that spring hiyo kitu naita spring nilisikia kwa roho nilisikia kwa migu nilijua i knew this is it this is the one this one this is my diamond this one we are going to cooler from this one for real if there is a breakthrough it's this one and it was our breakthrough to the point of we used to have, we have a whole department, because now we were making them into crochet yes. braids. We yeah. have a whole department to make the braids, and then we have the people to install the yes. braids. And that thing was working like a conveyor belt. Ladies were just coming and sending spring each twist. other. Kill spring twist. Spring and attack a spring twist. Yes. Mm? Na yo braid yetu ilikuwa soft. Yani, by the time unataka kuitoa, ndi umto na kuambia, eh, Unyele yako eh, sili smart. Ni mekuambia zenye utanekea <laughs> na eka anazo miezi ime. Mpata <laughs> watu waniambie lean. So tulifika hapo yeah. spring twist. Kila mtu anataka hii kitu spring twist. I couldn't contain those clients anymore. Oh. Eh? Sasa salo ni meja. Ni meweka watu kwa SQ ya madhe ni meja. Ukingia kwetu. If you come in. Um, we open at 6. Yeah. If you come in at Six, b, b, by seven, umechelewa. Wow. You'll have to wait. Sasa hiyo Q ilikuwa inanisumbua roho. Inanisumbua sana nasema. Naweka watu kwa laini, wakae, wa, like they have nothing else to do. Nikaanza kuwapatia chakula. Madhea na wapikia chapo, na wapelekea, like, oh, yeah. anapatia clients. You, unajua sasa everyone, it's a yes. family business. Yes. Everyone was trying to do, what, what can, can I do? What can Sa I madhea do? Madhea shuka, but mm. she can keep you comfortable. Yes. So madhea likuwa na zungusha hapo yu, um, uh, tuchapo, yeah. anakata kata hivya, anakumbwa, mami is cooking, mami is cooking, have one. Clients wana tulia, yeah. wanaendelea kungoja. Yeah? My God. This is 6 a.m. in the morning. So by now, you see, every day I'd wake up and mm. think, maybe it was just yesterday. Yeah. Hawata <laughs> kuja. Hawata kuja leo. Again. Then by 10 it's madness. Do you know? <laughs> Nilikuwa nakaa tu kwa kona na lia machozi. Because it's too much. I can't handle it. You know? Na kila mtu na kuangalia like Linda, we are here. And there's nothing I can do. Na hata nikiwambia musikuje leo. Bado watu. Unambia mtu. The salon is like the bookings are many. Maybe try the next day. Mtu na kuambia, tunita kuja, tunita angoja. Tulikuwa tunafunga 12.31 a.m. Like, we open at 6 and we go all the way to the next day. Like, 12, ndiyo sasa at least. Mm -hmm. Last clients walikuwa wanaanziwa around 8. Hair is around 4 hours, 3 hours. Yeah. 
So we used to close on mm. at that time mm. every day. Mm. What stopped us from continuing like this? Corona. So when Corona came yeah. and your V2, Zika slow down. Zika slow down. But mimi nasema, pia hiyo mungu alikuwa na sort. Because you see now I was crying. Me, like, have the you, pressure is too it's much. too much. Yes, it's you have too the much. services, but... Yeah? We can't deliver. And for me, I think coming to the salon should be an experience. It shouldn't just be uliingia, ukafanyiwa, nyuele, ukatoka. Mm. It should be an experience. Mm. And three quarters of the time, someone who's coming to the salon... <laughs> You know, ladies go to the salon when they are not feeling good about themselves. Oh, eh? Finally, someone <laughs> gets it. Someone gets it. Usually, yeah. by the time I've decided I'm coming to the yes. salon, I've looked myself uh, in the mirror, I'm ma, already ah, doubting yes. how I look. Yes. Mm? So three quarters of the time, ladies come when they need a pick up. Pick me up. So wewe unamtreat tu kama gunia umemfanya raka raka. Ah, ebu songa hapa, ebu maliziwa hapo. Yeah. So I was stressed because we were no longer giving people an experience. We mm. were giving them just a service. You know, the faster you can come in and the faster you can go, the better for us. Eh. We started losing what I am all about. So Corona really slowed that down completely. Corona was announced on a Thursday, Friday. We didn't have that queue like mm. half the people mm. that um, were would, coming, mm. was, would have come came. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Saturday, very few people came. Sunday, no one came. No one came. It was like we opened for no proper reason. Mm. So, Nikasai Masawa, Corona Imekuja, what are you supposed to do now? Uh, you can't sit in. Like, we have employees. These people feed their families through this thing. How many did you have by then? I think we were in our 20-something. Tw we had 20-something people working at the beauty mm. cottage mm. who have families, who have parents, who have sisters, who have children, who have children they're taking care of that are not theirs, you know? We can't close. <laughs> we can't, you know? So, Nikasema, Corona imekuja, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to move the salon outside. Si, tulikuwa tunafanya kwa parking before we got, we were able to put people in the SQs and everything. Nikat, nunua umbrellas to shelter you from the sun, tukeka viti nje. Tukambia watu, 1.5 meter distance, masking, washing of hands and sanitizing, we are outside. Watu wakaanza kukuja. People started coming back. And during Corona, um, I feel any business that survived Corona, it's something to be proud about mm. and something to thank God for. Because mm -hmm. what to? I mean, it's not something that's a secret. People easy. went down. <laughs> it wasn't you know? easy. So for us to survive Corona. COVID. Sasa, hapo ndiyo tukaanza kufanya nyeleze nye zinaka. Because mtu ana, ana nika mwizi, ana kuja salon, Ni kama ame hepa, you know. So they come in very quickly. They want to be done very quickly and they want to go. And they don't want to come back. So easy if it was a three weeks, three weeks as a hawataki. See God opening another door. Yeah, so ni kanza kufikiri. What are we going to do that will be long lasting? Being long lasting. So unapata mtu after, ukimwona after two months. Nyelea ketu badu yiko sawa. So, si ati hajarudi salon, ama meenda kuingine, ni nyuele tu yiko sawa. So, there is no need to come back. So, that's how we survived Corona, by doing styles for the ladies that could last them longer. So, as much as we were charging for the style, but if you divide it by the months, it makes sense. Yeah. One day, I was sitting outside there, Cause bado tulikuwa na shida ya space mm -hmm. na parking. Mm. Na it it was just looking confused. Yeah. It, it didn't look like it was planned. Yeah. My neighbor moves out. So najua tuko kwa estate. Yes. Neighbor akahama. By the time aliweka hizo viti kwa gari, aka they moved. That hour or so that it took them to move, I got a light bulb moment. Mm -hmm. Nikasema sasa tuna struggle inside atuna space. Na hui mtu wa mehama na hii nyumba yote sasa hiko vacant. Nikaanza kuongea na mwenye hiyo nyumba. Please nipatie nyumba nyeke salon. So at least we were able 
to expand. Wow. Yeah. But also one of the main reasons that was pushing me out of my mother's compound mm. was uh, that she fell ill. So she had cancer and her immunity was really no. low. So Sasa and me, I have over 20 women walking in and out constantly, plus the clients, plus it was just too the much. The exposure was just yeah. too much. Yeah, so the doctors were all saying, keep her, she you know. Had, she had which cancer? Multiple myeloma, oh. it's a blood cancer. Mm. So it's like damu yako in a coup attack. Mm. Yeah, so in my struggle to keep people away from my then your neighbor Pia, Anahama, ah, I want you to leave a space for a neighbor. So now it became easier. We yeah. were able to keep the distance yes. like between the clients. Mm. We had open space outside if you wanted to sit outside. Mm. So that also so worked, out worked out pretty well. Yeah. And it gave me time to time and space to handle, handle mother. Your mom. Mm. Yeah. How how are you juggling your mom, your kids, I your think family? God. The business. I think Mimi Nasema Tuni Mungu. Uh, because now after mom, Ndionika realize, after she passed away, Ndionika realize, I don't think I was a normal human being during that whole time. I don't think I was okay. Mm. I was on a routine. Ile tu una, una muka, unaenda, unafanya, unarudi. Ata sidani nilikuwa na lala mm. because... Mm. By the time she was passing away, I was completely mm. drained. I had no energy, no nothing. You yeah. were gone. I was gone. Mungu wa meshikilia biashara yangu. Mimi nasema ni mungu because really, I don't think in that year, I was present at work. I was present. But, but not. Nile uko ui, but uko. Sikwa. And you know now, when, when your business is like on social media, you it's like you can't go through these life things because huh? um, people are expecting to see a certain kind of consistency yeah i love when you when someone is unwell unapata pia uh like funding in a kuwa ni low sani kajuliza me ni kona followers na tuna struggle na bill because with cancer there's infections and it's just yeah so unapata today you thought mm. everything was fine mm. by evening mkona sijui bill ya how much because you know so mm. i had to come out and tell people what yeah. was happening yeah. so as much as my page my page started off as a page for things that i liked mm. and then at some point i said okay fine we'll just keep it as hair yeah and then now there I, I said, you know what, as much as I wanted to keep it as hair, I have to come out and talk about these things. Yes. And that's one thing that I feel um, we're not also addressing. When someone is going through something like that, n it's like we take sickness to be um, like a taboo. Like you're not supposed, people are not open yes. about what they're really yes. going and it's through. it's business as usual. Yeah, because I was like, hey, what on a temperature I've heard of so many people that he na nearly passed, na nearly passed. The family is left on this earth to continue. Mm. They just, to me, look normal. So when I was going through this thing, I was like, hey, how what were li, ni, how were they normal. doing this thing? Because even at a sign, they look normal. normal. But me, I was dying inside. I was feeling breaking, ripped and mm. torn apart. Mm. Huh? Mm. But anyway, it is what it is, so um, I thank God for the time that I had my mother. She was, you know, that person yes. uh, in the Biashara. Mm -hmm. And uh, I f the only thing that I feel, I wish ni angekuwa hapa, ni kuniona sasa maali tumefika. Because mother ya metuacha hapo. Alikuacha na iyo ya kwanza. Aliniacha tu hapo. Aliniacha kama tumengia kwa nyumba ya neighbor. Unaona? Nata hapo hange kuja sana mm, kwa sababu mm, ya yo, mm, she was unwell. Mm, eh? So, but she passed away nikiwa kwa nyumba ya neighbor. Impa. So, after tuende tuzike, mm, two weeks after tumezika, uh, me, I'm going, I'm trying to pick up and keep going the way I see other people are just picking up yes. and going. And then my neighbors call a meeting, the estate committee, where we were, because we were in an estate. Eh? I took a commercial mm, bill. Mm. Yeah. The estate committee are feeling that we are too many. It's during Corona. We are too many. Um, 
they are not feeling safe. Their privacy, their privacy has been invaded. Yes. We, we um, have maybe too many cars and too many people coming in and out of the estate and mm. they cannot even control the security. Mm. So they tell me, it's time for you to leave the estate. And I was like, we've been here for 18 years. Where do you expect us to, to up and go? But to listen manini, mungu anafu. So mi wana, venye mathe alienda, maali watu enda heaven, we like to call it. Venye alienda, aliangalia chini, akasema kumbe mtoto wangu na jilimit. Huu mtoto, anafa, I go to the next level. Lakini mimi, being the person I am, kuja waniongeleshe vizuri, ya Linda, you know, fanya hivi, 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 singe, why itoka haku. So wali kuja, negative. To me, I took it very negative. Nikasema these people, kwani walikuwa wanangoja mamangu akufe. Venye mamangu tu wamekufa hivi ndi wani towe. Kama mamangu wangekua, hawange behave hivi. Kwa si tumeishi hapa almost 40 years, surely. Hawange behave hivi. So, nikasema, wacha tutafute space, yenye one can divide the clientele, so it's not so many people who are coming into the one, mm. the one area. Mm. And also, just in case anything happens, because now I woke up to, hey, you can be thinking you have it, everything is going well, but one day you can wake up and kumbe, mtu amesha kuitia watu, or, you pangiwa. know. Yeah? So I can be thrown out. Like, mm. of course I can't be thrown out because I, I was paying rent and yes. nini nini. And my, uh, but anyway, you never know. So I started feeling you need like I plan. wasn't safe. Yeah. So we decided to go and uh, look for space. Yeah. And that is how our second branch yes. was opened. So we went to Next Gen. Yeah. Uh, Hi. Yeah. Hi, Sasa. <laughs> Everything I have ever done in my life, I have done afraid, but I do it anyway. So to mend the next gen, to ka, you know, like I spoke to the people and Rene and Kapatiwa space. Nika tengeneza the space, haraka haraka, tukafungua milango. Do you know clients walangata hawa kuriduce? Hawa kuriduce. Mini likuwa nafikiri. No, you got a new clientele. Imagine we just got a new clientele. Mini likuwa nafikiri to divide the clients. Yeah? Like less people will come. So I ended up still, all those things the estate committee were telling me, I didn't solve them by opening a second branch. So nika sema, okay. We can't continue to stay here. Uh, I think the thing that we have to do now is open another Langata branch. This is our Langata branch. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. <laughs> we are fine. You are good? Welcome. Is, is it morning, evening? I'm having lunch. Yes. You need to look on and you want to do her hair. <laughs> So this is the beauty cottage? Yes. <laughs> so we did the um, workstations on this side. Yeah? And then, come. Myself. I did the actual design. Yes. And I was my own contractor. Yeah. Here we have our nail area. Our nail area. Yes. And on this side we have our sink areas. Yeah. Yes. So that's the whole salon. Yes. This is now the one here in Langata. On Langata. Yes. Yeah. Hey, what do you like most about this part, this place? This space. Yeah. What sold me was actually the plants, the nice green plants outside. outside. Yeah. It's amazing. Yes. And then we also wanted, uh, you know, like Corona taught us a lot. Yeah. So we wanted a space that is at least giving the clients enough uh, space. Space. And privacy. Yes. yes. So we didn't want, you know, to make it so cramped up. Yeah. Yeah. So this space gave us that. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> so now we've opened 
Freedom Heights oh, Mall in Langata. So even Freedom Heights now is the one, it's still the Langata one. Now Freedom Heights is the Langata. With so it, I'm struggling with, which one is our first branch? Yes. Is, is it, it next? Next gen, gen or it, Freedom Heights? No, Heights? I think it's Freedom it's Heights. Freedom Heights. It's, it's Freedom Heights. Because yes. the Langata branch now, lang we've been in Langata for 18 years. You know. Ata nikiambia mtu. Si unaweza enda ile side ingine anasema tu hapana langata iko tu sawa na mimi. Na mimi yeah. So I like, know yeah, langata. <laughs> Even me yeah, I know langata. Yeah. So, so now next Freedom gen Heights now, is our langata brand. Yes. Yeah. Now next gen is now new clientele. That became new clientele. Of yes. course there were people who were like thank you Jesus we used to karibia umekuja karibu but, you know. But we also got yes. a new clientele. Mm. So nikasema ah Nilikuwa nimejifungia pale nilikuwa najifungia yeah. na sijui nimejifungia. Mm. So I'm really thanking God. So Freedom Heights is uh, less than a month old. Yeah. But uh, we thank God that now sina shida ya neighbors. Yes. Sasa <laughs> nime, na, I thank now God for that. Yes. Yeah. When, so we've done that. Mm. So kwa biashara unapata these challenges. Huh? For example um, when I started uh, my basket value ilikuwa 150, which means when a client comes into the space, she's supposed to leave 150 shillings. You can't make money on 150 <laughs> shillings. So we had to figure out how to raise yes. that basket value. Mm. Me, I was struggling. Nasema sasa, niki raise yo kitu, I think watu watawacha kukuja, we won't get clientele. But kuna rafiki yangu aliniambia if you are, you want to make 100 shillings and uh, you need okay you each person you're charging them 100 shillings yeah. and then you get 100 people it, you've made 10,000 10, 10, yeah. but if you charge them 200 shillings and you make 50 people still 10,000 why are you afraid you're doing less work, <laughs> you know. That's something people really struggle with. What is your value? What are you worth? Yeah, because you can You you're doing an amazing job. You're giving these people an amazing service, but you're you're still not confident enough to charge your worth. Yeah. So that was a turning mm. point. Be mm -hmm. able to charge what you're worth. Know your worth. Know your worth. So I feel we are still not, uh, we're, we're, we're charging enough. Enough, <laughs> enough. Yeah. We're charging enough because I still try to keep the prices down. Because you give value for money. I, I mean, still try to keep the prices down. Yeah. I don't want it to be something that people can't afford. Yes, it's so we reasonable. Still, we, we keep it very reasonable. Mm. Reasonable is uh, relative, but to me, I'm, I'm thinking we try and keep it very mm. reasonable. Mm. Um, uh, so... What I'm saying is, if you are trying to do something, don't limit what your value is. Yes. Yeah. Le let me ask you, right now, how many people have you employed? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> I think we have passed 50. Past 50? Yeah. What was your mean grade in KCSE, if I may ask? You know, let me tell you, and that's what our system was, our system was failing us. Yes. Yeah. They were making us, um, they were making us do what they thought everyone should do. So me, I was made to do sciences. Now, nakumbuka nilikuambia mi ukinipatia kitabu ni so Jesus Christ umenimes. So my KCSE, all artistic subjects, I scored A's. All scientific subjects, I scored D's. So my mean grade was C. <laughs> yeah, but if they just let me do, you know, and I, I guess that's what the government is trying to do now mm. with the new system. Mm. If they just let, let you, you do, do if they spotted this thing Spot. from back then, the then I wouldn't have had to go through the that whole thing. You know, biology. and that thing is bad because you leave school feeling like a failure. What we ngine walipata sijui a kwanza a na ile asterix pale juu na wewe haukupata. You leave school thinking you're a failure. Yeah. But are you? No. Yeah. And no. can you do something with yourself from there? Mm -hmm. Of course you can. Yeah. 
So our system really needs to address that thing. Mm. Me, I think that that was one of the things that yes. really made me feel limited. Mm. The fact that there was no one there trying to support mm. whatever it was that I was trying to do. Yes. I know a lot of young women, yeah. they settle when they are young. And yeah. it's okay because a lot of relationships work out. Yes. Yeah? But do you think you moving in with someone at such a younger age mm -hmm. was a mistake? I don't feel it was a mistake. Mm. Kwa sababu sayo hata ungeniambia nisiende ninge kubali. I, I was just following what I wanted, yeah? Mapenzi ilikuwa strong, Ay, kaki funiko ya gas. <laughs> <laughs> ilikuwa strong. Yeah. In fact, if anything, I feel that for me, having a child at such a young age was a head start. Because when people were still out doing whatever teenagers do and trying to get focused, me, I was already Amal. focused. Yeah, I knew I have to come home with some form of something lazima, lazima kule. kule so i was already just focused mm. now i feel it was a head, head start, start you know but uh, it wasn't always easy una ndio say una niongelesha unaweza fikiri ni kitu rahisi when i i started realizing my friends sasa si wao waliendelea na masomo mm. they became pilots lawyers engineers these are professions zenye wa recognized are still recognized mm. as profession mm. they got jobs out there and became people nikaanza ku feel stupid nikaanza ku feel ni kama i'm not worth it to be here like i need to do something more nika apply course see very simple course nikaenda university of nairobi because the university the word university ndio ilikuwa inanisumbua akili so nikaenda university of nairobi nikafanya guidance and counseling psychology uh, nilifanya two higher diploma mm. Nikafika hapo, when I finished the higher diploma, I realized, Linda, you're not stupid. This is not for you. This <laughs> it's kitu ya kuenda class. And then what am I going to do with that thing? Unajua your certificate, ata kuichukua, si kuichukua for four years. Si kwa na I need, because me, I was out here doing everything. So even to do that course was really challenging, because I had to make time yes. to go to class. Yeah. When I finished, I didn't go for the certificate. Siku ile nilienda kuchukua certificate, my friend. Wanaita storage fee. Yenye nililipia hiyo certificate. Eh? And I didn't ever use it. Hata mbaka wa leo nasemanga, I should go and look for it where it is. Maybe ilikulwa na yeah. panya. Mm -hmm. But the word certificate, uh, Mimi the university, key, the key word was, was university. university. Okay. Yeah? Na unajua ni vizuri because wanafanya hata mm. graduation. Mm. So me, I've, Uvae I've, gown. Nivae gown. Na si mimi nilikuwa na valia gown. My yes. mom. Nilikuwa na valia my mom gown. Mm. Yeah? Akikuja pale unajua unasoma hizo majina haraka 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 pia yeye asikie jina ya mtoto yake amesimama e. e. a a sisi tulikuwa sijui hizo course sio mm. za kusimama oh. watu wale wa hmm? kusimama wa kusimama mm. okay phd dhd <laughs> and the first mm. uh, wanaita nini the ones who um, mm. are at the top yeah. but our course being a higher diploma yeah. sisi hatukuwa tunasimama but, but gown na hiyo jina uni, i went gown to the liver, university of nairobi university. though i feel that the course yeah. helped me yeah. because um, i was able to change that and that's how you see i even understand a woman by the time she's coming to the salon nikitu in a push the, yeah. she needs a pick up, yeah. pick me up yes yeah hizo zilitoka kwa hiyo course. course there for a very long time i used to make friends with all my clients i knew all of them sasa kama client ameanza ku go through something inanikula pia mimi you know na pata silali usiku nafikiria anga tu guy lean alisema this is happening this is happening that course helped me to be empathetic but not sympathetic mm. like I will understand, I will but, be there for you, but, but I will put a distance yes, between... Yes, the boundaries. Yeah, I'll put the boundary. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, cause, even your course didn't say idea, but there was no one who was going to be I don't think I was going to be a certificate of anything, mm. anywhere mm. in life. Yeah. So, we were going to hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah, but mm. me too, I think. Yeah. I was going to be a certificate of Michelin, I was going to be a diploma, like Skumbuki, but of importance yeah. is... We need to nurture our skills and talents. Yeah. We need to let people be. Yes. We need to start acknowledging that. Yes. If it was new, we are so passionate about yes. We were just talking earlier and I was telling you, if people knew their passion yes. was their key. The key. Was their key to so many things yes. in this life. They yeah. would suffer, yes, is only a katano, ama ata sita saba, yes. but imagine there is gratification.
So for me, mm. I've never worked a day in my life. Okay. Because I don't see what I do as work. I am even shocked that people are willing to pay for something that I just love doing it. I just enjoy doing it. And of course, a second chance, you know, in yeah. love, at hey. love. Oh, yeah. Yes. We, we, I will. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> at what <No. laughs> <laughs> does your Does your hubby understand your passion now? Does he understand? You know? What? Yeah. I think even him, he wasn't understanding. You know, mm. because when he came to Chali, he me, I ran my own business. I love that he came to my own business. Me, he came to my own business. 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 You know, the initial one. So years later is when he was telling me, he came to my own business. He came to my own business. But I think there was something else that drove him. Because he came to my own business. You know, he came to my own business. So I don't think he was understanding what I was doing or what I was trying to do. Mm. Yeah? But slowly, Akanza Kuelewa, when she does this, it leads to this. When she does this, it, it leads, leads to, to this. this. Now, my husband, there are so many people who know me, who I don't know. They are his friends. I think he is our number one brand um, ambassador. Atakama Hajui when in a, you know if he can work that into the conversation ata ingiza ata ingiza he sings our praises everywhere my wife. there are times i go and then like he's introducing me meet my wife and then uh, the person saying yeah 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 ah so uo mtu hata anajua tumehama uo mtu yani they know everything because our brand ambassador is doing his job his job he's supportive very supportive wow. very supportive of the business mm. and for a long time i did not take it as support especially like when i was trying to um stop doing production mm. and start because i me i think it was his idea i think in nikikumbuka vizuri is the one who was saying e production wachana nayo but that same i was saying wewe unataka niachane nayo kwa nini na hiyo ndio inakatia maisha yeah. so it took me a very long time to understand in retrospect he was right ni production nilikuwa nafaa ni wachane nayo yeah wow. so he has always been there always pushing always you know Challenging like you. for example we have um, hair mm. um, when when we create a style i usually give the style the name so if we have a an influencer or uh, someone mm. the first influencer to do the style gets to name the style oh yeah so we to come uh, uh, patricia kioro named yes. rebel twist sikuizi naona kuna company zingine ziko na braids zinaitwa rebel braids uko nje yeah you know at our dream of rebel in toka wapi kitu ka now like my husband he gave the Uh, the number one thing I think we are known for is Nubian twist. Hiyo ilitoka kwake. Cause mimi nilimwambia hii style imeenda. Tuite nini? Kaniambia call it Nubian. You know like a black queen, a black African queen. You know, queen. Call it Nubian. Sasa hata kuna nywele kampuni zingine zina try kuleta Nubian. Nubian twist. But let me tell you, you will travel everywhere. Hautawahi pata nywele hata kama imeitwa nubian yeah. haitakuwa hii kitu yenye sisi tunafanya tuliita nubian. what's in your hair like i See? am not asking for the secret <laughs> ingredient no. but what's you in your what, hair what, what what happens yeah. is i work closely with my our manufacturers we have manufacturers for yeah. our hair yeah. most of our styles we we create ourselves so if i have a style i will look for a manufacturer that can produce that particular mm. hair so and for me i'm going for quality texture durability mm. texture sensi uh, sensitivity, sensitivity. Mm. you know because taki pia nimekuweka braid saa zote uko ehe alafu ile kitu ina niwanga ni ile kwanza kajua kakikuja me i don't like those things yes yeah and that's the feedback we get like hiyo nywele nimekaa nayo hata sijasikia anything haina uzito haina nini so i have these things that i wanted to give women back which mm. was weightless painless durable and so i started creating Beautiful. styles around that, that concept yeah so many many times the men would complain my woman nyole yake inanuka i don't like her hair is uh, smelly. smelly so 
I created styles that you can wash. So if you're feeling maybe there's something we are didn't get to kwashawa wewe organize organize yes. keep going mm. life goes on mm. you know so we we created a different um way of doing it mm. see lazima ukaze wenyewe umeze pana do you do chukwa eh mi kwanza sasa yeah see you lazima ama ulale hivi uwezi lala hivi usiku so we create that, yeah. that 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 is what i woke up and i was like i will do it different kwanza ni mimi hakuna style nimeweka hapo nje yenye sijajaribu mimi mwenyewe hata kuna zingine tumejaribu ku launch but then i pull them off the yes. shelf because i'm like that thing is just not going to work for it's, people yeah so when you know? your specimen mimi ndio ni na check kwanza niangalie ni nini inaendelea hapa what is this woman going to feel how does it age yeah. how does all that happen mm. i make sure um that everything it's okay it's okay yeah let me ask you you are your kids now. yeah What's that one thing you would want them especially given the way we were brought up how we were trained our education kila kitu yeah. what's that one thing you would want them to know or what do you strive to teach them you can do anything mm. that you put your mind to you don't have to conform to what everyone has told you is the path yes yeah if you set out to do something you can make something out of it mm. you know yeah so i just try to push them to ensure that they have the life skills mm. to be able to identify an opportunity when it presents itself because three quarters of the time we just don't see the opportunity it presents itself but, but you don't see that opportunity mm. you let it pass mm. so with them i'm trying to broaden their minds such that when they see what they need to do yeah it um they can quickly go after it mm. and be able to achieve whatever mimi mm. sina hopes and dreams za my my kids nataka kuona ni nini wanafanya but sina hile kitu mimi nataka wafanye you want to support i will support whatever it is that they mm. want to do mm. yeah wow i love that yeah. P- when people come to your salon yes. you know you said something important yes. it's like therapy yes. it's where i'm coming god i yeah. want to look like you know yes. a, a, a beautiful version yes. of myself yes kila biashara pia iko na challenges unapata ngo wale customer hata sikusikia hata how how do you handle such customers when yeah, they come and they feel like i wasn't satisfied do you even have those we have Um, one of the places that i really avoid going mm. is google miss you kwa nini google has the most negative of um responses cuz you'll put your all but like recently mm. um someone called me to tell me that is obey nimeweka sitawai pata watu wanakuja kwa salon and my business will fail and i will not amount to anything we, they have been supporting me but now they will stop kosho si heta so you know it uh, how we, uh, i pick i pick every phone call yes. but i pick my phone calls yes. yeah i'm still the one who manages my phone mm, mm. yeah which is the salon phone yes yeah so for for me to pick a phone call si mm. juni nani nini mwenye mm. on the other mm. side atasema mm. and for someone to say something so hurtful it's very hurtful so painful you know like my business will fail you won't i won't amount, amount to, to anything, anything. Sounds like a hater to me. Not even no, a customer. That's hater. Yes. So we we have we have um those and we also have people who yes mm. alikuja na na feel haikutengenezwa yeah, venye alikuwa anataka mm. and yes I I feel that is the the person who will come back and tell you imagine ilitokana huyo ndiye anasaidia because from there we are able to rectify whatever it is that yes. made You know yeah. if if we are giving you this service and all of you go and keep quiet mm. how do we know do if we the know? service is doing well out mm. there mm. so we have feedback and we take the feedback in and that. we appreciate the mm. feedback yeah mm. we do what legacy are you looking forward to leaving behind kai legacy eh sisi unataka ukumbuko yaje He, hey, hata hey. sijawahi fikiria kitu kama hiyo. Ah, good. I like when you I ask know, something someone hasn't You know I haven't because me I I I feel I haven't arrived. I haven't even started. Na sioni kuna kitu yenye nimefanya yenye ina ina 
in amount to me having a legacy. I feel there's so much more that I am wow. yet to do. Wow. So bado si jajiangalia ni seme, ni mefika, mm. ati sasa legacy, watu, no. Yes. But of course I'd want to be remembered as the woman that I am, uh, the amazing person, yeah. you know, like, I think I am an amazing person. Si tulisema, yes. tu, tunajiam, tuna, tuna, tunajiambia tuna na tunaeza kusema yes. hiyo kitu. Yeah. So I think I am an amazing person. I think I am able to, I have taken nothing and turned it into something. And from that something, we are able to give back. I feel like we're giving back to the society because mm. we have quite a number of people who work at the beauty cottage and uh, mm. those people are feeding their people. So I feel like we have done mm. something. Yeah. But Bado, Sijafika. Your prices vary from what <laughs> to what? <laughs> Lynn. No, because my audience will ask me, your prices vary from? I would say you can get a style. Mm. I think our uh, cheapest style would be about 2,500 inclusive yeah. of braid. Yes. And then the most expensive style would be maybe you can pay up to 7000 yeah. so it really depends on the on your budget the, yeah the client what mm. you want what you hope to achieve mm. yeah and what we are going to put into yeah. that because we we charge our prices based on how much time are we going to put into um doing that mm -hmm. work yeah so the harder it is to achieve the style the longer it takes to achieve mm. the higher the price the price will go kama you meva ni kapes ita ita ni last how long na ni kapes angapi so yes i have learned to be very careful with my words yes we guarantee you three weeks <laughs> i am careful yes. with my words you yeah. know why yeah you say the style will last four months. Yes. Ataka nayo on month three, aseme mulisema four months, na nyole yangu yumearibika before four months. But really, we have come from a time where we, you were doing your hair every three weeks. It's. And you were fine with that. Yeah. Sasa, surely. So we guarantee you three, three weeks. weeks. Like I'm sure your hair will get to three weeks. Yes. What happened is, at three weeks, clients were still feeling, but see, I still look amazing. It's beautiful. So they did four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. I think mm, so we have styles that people keep in for even up to five months. Yeah. 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 They can maintain that style, mm. looking still pretty for yeah. up to five months. Mm. You so sell mafuta? It's good that you have said that. Yeah. Um, so when clients come, they're always asking, Nitaweka uh, nini? How will I maintain? Yeah. Nini? What can I use? So because I've been asked so many times, we have actually manufactured our own hairline, which we haven't launched. Oh. So musi ni ulize inapatikana wapi, tutatangaza, tukiyeka. But we already, we already have amazing products mm. on that hairline. I yeah. cannot wait to give them back to the Kenyan people. Because, yeah. for example, um, one of the major things that I have been fighting is hairline loss. I know. Because yeah? I, well, I don't see yes. why you should be a girl, 32, 35, even 50, even 60, you yeah. still need your hair. Mm why don't you have a hairline mm. so i have been fighting that thing for a while you yeah? your legacy you not to achieve <laughs> <laughs> i have been fighting now yeah. it's not easy because nimetoa watu kwa, kwa braids zile very tight that ukienda kubomwa inanguka na nywele yote mm. so you get tractional alopecia yes. at a very young age, age. nimejaribu kutoa watu and it's not easy mtu atakwambia haujanishuka venye nataka kushukwa it should be neat and I'm like neatness over your hair. Over your hair. Now you know, like, once that hair goes and um, the, the, the pores, they close, we are That's not getting it. that hair back. Mm. So I am fighting, fighting to make sure that women will have their hair lines even in their 60s. old age. Yes. yes. Good. So that's your legacy. Ni sasa hapo. Eh. <laughs> hapo, <laughs> ndiyo sasa nikaona. Yeah. I'm struggling also with what things that they can put. So mm. we have manufactured. We are, it's very close to being launched. Good. Um, the hairline that uh, I hope will help clients maintain and bring back their hair. Congratulations. Yeah. I love that you test the hair on your own hair yes. before you put it out there. Yes. I love that you are able to just uiweke, uone, alafu easy apana, tutoeni kwa shelf, ina. So that's really beautiful. Yes. Obvious. So that's, that's basically now mm. what I built the business on. Oh, good. Yeah. Many people watching this will want to come. Many yeah. people watching this 
actually right now at a stage where you were when you felt yes. most discouraged yes, yes. afraid when they are testing you know they are they just got into they, they are trying out things are not working because yeah. i've been there a thousand times before man yeah. who may try nothing is, is working. working what would you want to tell them do it even if you're afraid still do it do it yeah just do it just do it yeah. even if you're afraid mm. I do uh, anything that I do. It's not actually I'm usually relaxed and I know that it will turn out really well. My stomach is always turning. Yeah. My chest is tight. I have, like I have to, um, and the person who gets it is maybe my husband because mm. he's the one I'll tell, guy, miss you ikiwa. So he has to constantly keep reassuring me. Mm. So even if you're afraid, you do it. Even if you want to go after that job. What's the worst that they can say Good. if you apply is no. Mm. Maybe 20 people will tell you no and the one person will tell you yes and mm. it will be, mm. you know, your stepping point. So even if you're afraid, do it do anyway. It. Do it anyway. Yeah. I love that. Where can people find you? And before oh, okay. I even say let's wind up, yeah. is there anything you think we should have touched on that we did not touch on? You know, um, mm. I know this is Inspire. Yes. And... Um, there's something I mentioned earlier, but maybe I didn't mention it. Uh, it's mm. it's now really close to yeah. my heart. Mm. Uh, when we have um, issues in the house, like my issue that I want to touch on is sickness. When we have a sick person, I think we shouldn't be afraid to come out and say we are going through this. this. Yeah, because most of the time, by the time. Uh, someone is saying, hey, mother ni mgonjwa, inakwanga, imesha aenda, ikaenda, ikafika, you know, a place where now it's even visibly being seen. I think um, such case, such things, we should be comfortable to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I did not even realize that we were not talking about such things um, in safe spaces, mm. even where is the safe space that mm. you can go and mm. say, this is what I'm going through. Mm. People just expect you'll be fine. Mm. And the most they do is call, ah, munendele aje to kosawa, and then life goes on. Uh, that, that, that um, to me, is something that really touched me when mom was unwell. And um, I tried to be strong and go through everything um, that I was, I thought I was supposed to go through. And when mom passed away, I was like, oh, okay, I know it's painful. It ripped my heart out. Uh, if you follow me online, people saw me crying there because I, I just couldn't. It ripped my heart out. But um, when she passed away, I said, she has rested and it is fine. And for me, I felt like, oh, thank God I made it through. I still look normal. I, I felt like nearly make it to the other side because going through sickness is really mm. hard. And unfortunately for me now, um, sickness came again knocking at my door. And uh, my husband um, is unwell now. And um, it has taken away from the business again because I have to take care of him. Oh. So he was diagnosed with the same cancer my mother had, which is multiple myeloma. It's a blood cancer. And uh, so now we have started the course of treatment and everything. Nee, 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 nee. And for a while, I've been battling with, am I supposed to be able to talk about sickness? Am I supposed to? Because, you see, you'll meet me on the street, maybe my mind is far. Oh, you'll call me on the phone, maybe I'm going through something. You know, we're, we're currently doing chemotherapy. So you'll call me, I'm in the hospital, running around, you know, trying to sort those things out. Yeah. But because I'm not talking about it, oh. and you just see me on social media, mm -hmm. Lynn, <laughs> me, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, you know, it's because I, I know when I got here, Yeah. the first thing you said, he's such a great fan of my work. Oh, gosh. And yes. He is a great fan of your work. What's yeah? his name? His name is Salim. Salim. He goes by two English names as well. It's so interesting. Mungu <laughs> Wekawa, I go by two English names. He goes by two English names as well. Mm. Um, so his name is Salim Simon, mm -hmm. yeah, and oh. so we are, we're currently going, In chemo. we're going through that, mm. and one of the things that s sickness, uh, you know, when someone is unwell and you have those bills, huh, it's hard to associate success 
and hospital bills. Yeah? So you are successful, but you're one hospital bill away from poverty. I, I know yeah? what you're talking about. You're one hospital bill away from ah. poverty. You just never know mm. which, which visit it is mm. that may, we, you know, it can spiral out of you. control. Yeah. Yeah? So with mom, I really used to feel heavy when I'd had, have to go online and say, you guys, Muni Changye, um, to Kohosi. Need kutoka. And then you see now when she passed, I was like, ah, I'll never have to beg again. And here we are. And then now it happened again. And I was just like, well, I've had my fights. I asked God, are you serious? You cannot do that to someone twice, you know? It's not a simple thing like um, a small sickness. You will go to hospital, get medication, and it will it'll be fine, you know? These are big ones. So for you to have wow. um, parent and spouse going through the, the same, same thing. thing, that has really been a blow wow. for me. Exactly. But um, see, we were raised strong women and stuff like that. So I take it in stride. I say, maybe right now I cannot see why it's happening, because it's happening right now. Yeah. But I thank God yeah. and I I thank him that we are able to, I look at it as I have experience. So now I'm able to, to yeah, you to know, to like if there was something navigate. I thought maybe food I should have given mom, now I'm, I'm like, you should eat this <laughs> to cool easy, you know, like we're mm. doing everything that mm. we can. Mm. And we thank God because he's very, he's young in, in, in their terms. Mm. They say he's young, yes. so his body is able to, to fight, fight back. Mm. So yeah, we're trying to do everything that we can mm. do. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, then um, at some point we'll have to do the surgery in India. Mm. So in about a month or so, two months or so, yeah. we're supposed to travel to India for mm. the surgery. Wow. Now those are the things that really, you, you ask yourself, am I able to take care mm. of such mm. things? Mm. Because mm. they're not too bob. And our government needs to start doing something. Because these bills that when someone is sick and you're told how much you need to spend to try and help this person, it's some people just walk away. When I was with my mom in hospital, like we'd go there and the, I had an opportunity to see maybe one or two people who would come in and they, they'd be told what they need to pay. In fact, there's one guy, he was told he needs 34,000 to start the chemotherapy. All the papers had been done mm. and he needed 34,000. Mm. And the look in that guy's eyes, he just walked away. And I don't think he went to look for 34,000. He didn't go to look for that money. So there are people who are just not able to. Mm -hmm. I, they, I don't think there's enough that's being done to, to help yeah. with such situations. But, but what's keeping you going right now? I think I am doing the one day at a time thing at the moment. I'm doing the one day at a time. But you see, like for example, my mom passed away last year in April. Uh, this year in April, yes. we opened Freedom Heights. Freedom Heights. So when it reaches the time where she passed away, we do not mourn continue we continue mourning it never goes away yes it never goes away mm. so we continue mourning but i have replaced it with also a really amazing thing in mm. my books mm. yeah so i remember that she's not there anymore but then i also have this other amazing thing that happened at around the same time yeah. so now yeah. i you know like um as much as those things are happening, Lynn, I will not take it away and say I'm not successful. Like, mm. I feel I'm successful. I feel there's so much more that I'm supposed to do um, out there. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for that yeah. part, yes. that I am able to even have the strength to get up and every morning and pick the phones and go to work and, you know, Yes. I'm able to do that. Mm. And on the days I need to go to hospital, I'm able to, to do that. Yeah, because when I pata sa zingine, your strength haiko. Mm. You know, and ni kitu wawezi force. Mm. But for me to be able to still get up and, and, and do them, so I'm thanking, I'm thanking God. Yeah. And it's one day at a time, yeah. but I appreciate yeah. sana. Can I ask you an honest, um, I know you are, you've not asked me to do this, but I have such an amazing community. 
the lean googi people i like i, I call them my people <laughs> and i don't know yeah. like the way they keep coming through even us we are part of your community you are my people yes. you know like yes. today i'm just getting to interview one of my people yes like would it be okay if we helped contribute do you have a pay bill number if oh, we yeah. want to channel our support yeah. financially emotionally do you have a pay bill number uh, yes we have already mm. actually done the okay. pay bill number i okay. don't have the number of head it's so. okay i'll just i'll put it here put it, i'll yeah. put it I'll so we put have it, the, it's already here the pay bill number Speak, yeah. But interesting enough, yeah. for me, my life is online. So, mm. Okita Futa Linda Maria for Instagram, we'll yeah, you'll be able to reach details. us. So, it's okay if we put those details here? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, how on you, Nico? Lakini Sasa, this is Inspire. No, this is now <laughs> what it is about. You yes. see, we don't have, um, this is um, how it should be. Yes. What you've done, you've inspired us. I mean, I sat across UCG almost an hour plus ago. Director, yeah. do you know how long? How many? <laughs> two hours. Oh my yeah. God. We've been here for almost two hours, yeah. 15 minutes, yeah. and I had no idea yeah. you are still fighting something. So, what you've done, you've just inspired us. Yeah. And I keep telling people it's okay to be strong and yeah. soft. At it's the same okay time. to be soft. So, that's another thing. It's okay thing. to be soft. I have my moments yes. where I am like. Good. You know, yes. and then I'm, I have my moments where, where yeah. I am, but I think my personality is always very upbeat. Yes. Yeah, I, it's okay. So for me, it's easy to yeah. be up than to be down. Down. But I have my moments, moments yeah. where I am. Yes, you know, it's okay to be strong. Yeah, and soft. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, Cindy. Yes. So even I think we let uh, the details stay here for longer on yeah. the screen. Yeah, uh, you'll give me all the details that we need to put, so I can put the details here Thank for you. my people. Thank you. And I'm just so proud of you right now. Thank you. Now I'm starting to figure and you out see, why. Yeah. Even the fact that for me, I asked myself and I toyed with, mm. should I put it in there? Should I not? not. But. There's so many people who are also going through something, yes. you know, and we are just silent and you walk out there trying to put on that brave face. Yes. But for you, like, I think for someone to see me on social media yeah. and now you, you know that I'm also going through these things. Yes. But you've been seeing me and you think everything is That's fine right. and the sky is the limit and all that. I think there's people who will benefit from just knowing, yes, everything can look like it's a hundred percent, but there's also mm. everything can go really wrong and it's fine. Mm. It, it's fine yeah. for you to be able to go through yes. what it is that you're going through. Good. And don't put yourself down mm. or limit yourself mm. or and close yourself in a, yes. in, in, a, a cage. In, a, in a space and um, be by yourself mm. because there's other people out here mm. who one can help yes. or can lend a, uh, an, an ear, ear, you know, or can even give you info on how they did what they did when they did mm. so that you're not in going Good. through that thing by yourself because Good. loneliness is a very bad place it is yeah it is yeah okay. so uh, that's how i ended up saying you mm. know what i may not have wanted to talk about it but i think it's okay it's to okay. talk about it's so it. much okay and thank you for blessing us also with your story yes You've just taken me from here <laughs> to Uko <laughs> real quick. Yes. But I, I appreciate your yeah. authenticity. Yeah. I appreciate your vulnerability. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. And I know not only will my people come through yeah. in terms of, hey, I know I'm getting mine Ooh. done. And I know you wanted to... <laughs> I wanted you to, to have your to hair have during this, yes. No, but I just want to rock it on our next episode so they see <laughs> they see the results. <laughs> Naki yes. to it's time. Yeah. I just couldn't make it yes. because of this crazy schedule that we've been in. Yes. But again, I'm wishing you all the best. Yes. And I'm going to put all your social handles here. Thank they already you. even as we speak. Yes. Uh, before we wind up and... Uh, uh, anyways, as we wind up, yeah. you can look at that camera yeah. and you can be able to give talk to our audience. Yes. What would be your parting shot or your last words to our audience? Um, so I think what I would want to say to yeah. the audience is um, you can start from nowhere and um, you can get to somewhere. <coughs> 
do not be afraid to start because that's the only way that you can get to where you're going. Even if you're afraid, if you don't start, then the fear will just take over you and you will never have achieved anything. Yeah. Yeah. So in my case, I would say always be there, always be present, always be willing to go the extra mile to make sure that you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Good. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Linda, for yes. blessing us with your amazing story. Yes. My take home is no matter where you are, yes. that which you love doing, that which other people might deem crazy, yes. that will be able to open so many doors for yes. you. And also, I think, um, given our, you know, when, when, when the call came and you said he's heading to the hospital, and I was like, is he sick? <laughs> and I was like, I, I don't know. Now, now it's so many things now starting to make, make sense, sense to me. <laughs> but I'm just so happy that, you know, it's really okay to be strong, yes. soft, yes. vulnerable. Yes. And I know, you know, I keep saying God has the final word. Yes. We were talking about how spiritual we are, not yes. religious, but spiritual. spiritual yes. And I know he has it in his hands. Yes. He's in control. Yes. I always say for me, I love acknowledging my God, whether I'm in public, I'm in private, wherever, because the yes. things that he has done in my life, yes. no man would have. Of course. So I'm just wishing you and your family all the best, Thank even you. during this moment. Yes. I'm wishing you all the best. Yes. May May his will upon your lives be, be done. done. Yes. Cindy, oh. Thank you so yes. much. And you, whoever is watching this, I really want to know what your take home is. And you, I know uh, we've had the details and you know how we do it on this show. We come through, we come together, we elevate people. So if, in case you're wondering how best to support, uh, you can be able to support through the pay bill that is uh, right there. The account name is also right there. All Linda's uh, social media handles are also here on the screen and I asked our editor to let them be on the screen longer so that you guys you are able to know the best way to channel your support but not only that I want you to tell me what is your take home what's the lesson when you've watched this episode what stood out for you best have you been challenged have you been inspired go out there and chase your dream Trust you me, guys. If people don't think you're crazy, you're not doing anything. If people just sit there and they're like, hey, Okosawa, if they don't start questioning your dreams, they don't start thinking you're crazy, you are not doing anything. Until people look at you and then they start asking, Uyu ni nini anafanya? Ati anaweka mabati anze kushuka watu wapo inje? Until people start asking such questions, my people, you know, there's a problem. So go out there, chase your dream and do it. Do it. Even if you're afraid, just do it. You know that kanaik thing? Just do it. Me, that's the way I move in this world. Just do it. Do it and do it afraid, but do it anyway. And of course, to my amazing team, we would not have made this uh, episode of Inspire Global happen were it not for our legendary camera person and director, Edwin Ochieng Pale, our editor, David Moredi, for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you on time. And we are so much surrounded by amazing support from our other editor, Chebe, Kirui and our mentor Saveli Barashkov, thank you so much for everything that you are doing to make sure that we continue impacting the society. Want to share your story with us? My email, Pianduyo Yohapo, send a summary of your story, and who knows, we could be visiting you on our next episode of Inspire Global. My name is Lynn Gugi, thank you so much for watching, and allow us to dedicate this episode uh, to Linda's mom and of course Salim I know you'll also get to watch this thank you for supporting my work when I see men they are like Lynn we love your work man I, I got into this house and the first thing I was told your greatest fan I mean I did not know he was heading to the hospital so I'm wishing you all the best quick recovery and I know our paths will cross soon bye bye mm -hmm.